This place is just magical. Absolutely incredible place. So we're going on a hike this morning up to a viewpoint to look over both Little Baikal, which is what we can see from our window, and Big Baikal, which is the main lake, which is over the islands in front of us. It's minus 33 this morning and the wind's blowing a gale. So <laughs> it should be fun. Are you ready for this? No. <laughs> Is it going to be for less wind? Yes. Uh, no. <laughs> Apparently, there are like four or five different wheels here, and every single one has got a name. And this wheel that's going now is not the worst one that there is. I don't want to meet the worst one. So now we're going to put these strings onto this post and this viewpoint which is supposed to be another shaman ritual where you can make a wish and get good luck. Hopefully you heard that because I can't even hear myself. Our guide Irina was just saying that the roads to this part of the lake were only built about four or five years ago and up until that point there was no tourists here at all. And now, since they built the road, the tourism to this part of Baikal is growing quite rapidly. But it's still really wild and it's still the best place to come, I think, if you really want to experience a location where there's nothing around, where there's no sort of big infrastructure, it really feels raw. Yeah. You can already see the picture on the camera trying to bother a bit, and the battery's gone down 30% in the half hour that we've been hiking up here and standing in the top. So, I'm gonna go back down, get a cup of tea. So we went back to the restaurant for a cup of tea after the hike this morning. We had the intention of coming back to straight to the cabin, but we ended up sitting there for a few hours. Basically, we started up talking to our guide, another guy that's on the tour, and another guy that's supposed to organize something very special for tonight came up to us and offered us to try some port wine. And we're like, yes, why not? And it was very delicious. And we just ended up talking to our guide for ages. Just had a nice chat so now we just came back here get dressed get ready quickly and now we're going to excursion so for this excursion we've got to take an old soviet truck i think for about an hour's drive something like that the around here This amazing tour was put together by the guys at Exclusive Baiko. We've put all their details down below. We've driven probably about half an hour across the step, across the, the mud tracks, bump, bumpy as hell. And we've come to the top of this ridge and then have a look at this view that's just opened out in front of us.
So this in front of us is Olkhorn Island, which is actually about 15 kilometers wide and about 75 kilometers long. So to the left of that is Little Baikal, the bit that's sort of behind the island. And then to the right, just over here, is the main lake, which is so big you cannot see to the other side. You cannot see anything. It's like you're looking out over the ocean. It's absolutely gorgeous. It feels like you can't just have enough of it. You just want to sort of eat it all to remember everything. Good job we're filming everything, honestly. Let's go. For those of you that didn't know, a little fact for you. Baikal actually contains about 22 to 23 percent of the world's fresh water. actually giant it is and how big Russia is in general there are just like so many open spaces with nothing around and there are so many places like that around the whole country I just want to see them all. We're the last people up here <laughs> let's go We've written a full guide on how to travel Lake Baikal. If you want to check it out, it's linked down below. rocks on the bottom of the bed. Drinking some tea, walking on the bike hole. <sighs> we were offered tea or champagne. <laughs> we we chose tea. tea. <laughs> what an absolutely incredible place. Our guide just told us that you can pick up a piece of the ice, like any you fancy, any you can find. One like that will do. And you can smack it on the lake and apparently all the bad energy is going to leave you. Should we have a go? Yeah. How do you feel? Uh, oh, please, <laughs> please don't slip outside the tear. <laughs> it's getting I know it's cold and can be very windy and the wind can be very burny but when you see things like that you just forget about all these little money inconveniences and if you were to ask my advice I would definitely tell you to come here in the winter you'll never see anything like that anywhere in the world well I don't think maybe you'll prove me wrong but this is just spectacular and worth getting a bit cold and a bit nippy sometimes 100% I never expected or even dreamt that it will look that beautiful obviously you see the pictures and you might look at this video and think yes that's pretty but you'll feel completely different when you get here all these emotions you will receive by looking at everything is just 
impossible to put into words to be honest. I think I'd better start making my way back before Matt loses me. <laughs> Did you lose me? Yo, da. Why are you doing changes to the middle? Why don't you shake it? Why don't Just to remind you, we're walking on a frozen lake. We're going to have dinner now and we're very excited because they told us it's going to be something special. The evening turned out to be a quiz and an incredible wine tasting. Can you smell the aroma, Matt? Can you? Oh. We had a glass of wine and another one and one more. I think this one is the last one. Oh no, this one is. We left the restaurant and now we're in Dimitri's flat with Dimitri himself, Julia. And welcome back to our cabin. It's been probably one of the most incredible days of both of our lives, I would say. To see what we've seen today has just been undescribable. What? Seen it. You've seen it. You've seen it. You've seen it. You've seen it. Unbelievable. The views over Baikal from up high, and not just over Baikal, but over the entire steppe as you sort of spun round in a 360. And then we went down onto the ice itself. <sighs> just lost for words. We're going to finish the day here, and then we'll be up in another six hours with a new vlog. So make sure you check back for that because we've got some, we haven't, they've got some more incredible <laughs> things planned for us. So we can't wait to see that. So thank you very much for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it and see you in the next one. Enjoy the sun. Yeah. It's just gotta be the most beautiful thing we've ever seen, isn't it? I don't, I don't know walking across it. <laughs> well, apart from every time you look at me in the morning. Obviously, I don't need to say that. But <laughs> our travels are done, guys. The channel's getting closed. <laughs> we're going back this. home. We've seen it, oh, we've seen it all. <laughs> You've a good picture. Awesome. <laughs> so creative. <laughs> Would you like to get a piece of ice? I really like smacking it. Can I do it again? Should I be worried? What? Do you want to smack you? Oh, so good! <laughs> and it was also a really, it was also really, um, and it was also a really amazing. It really is. And it was also a really amazing. It was also.